Hello, today I'm gonna tell a story of my water tank. I hope it will be helpful for you. Please watch to the end because you will see very surprising result. Yesterday outside was minus 30, but my water tank stopped working. So I came down to check what's going on. This, this is my water tank. Brad Ford White Defender. It is a gas heater water tank. When the water tank works properly, the light it should be like this. You see the light? Look at it. It should be quick and constant flashing like this. But yesterday, when I came here, the light was flashing three times in a row. That means we have error code here. Three flashes and three second pause means pressure switch or blower temperature switch not working. Then I went up here. This is the blower. At the side of besides the blower, the pressure switch is inside there. I opened the box and see the pressure switch. I hope I could do something in there but I couldn't see anything I could do so I decided to call a technician to come the technician came here he bypassed the pressure switch by the way this is the old by uh, old pressure switch he bypassed the uh, pressure switch and then the heater the tank started to work then he told me that could be the problem of a uh, pressure switch so he went to a store to buy a new pressure switch to, for me. Uh, it is a COVID-19 situation now. He had to wait outside in temperature of um, minus 30 degree for 30 minutes to buy the new pressure switch for me. Good guy. He came back with a new pressure switch and installed over there. After he installed the new pressure switch, the heater, the tanks, started to work right away. We can see, we can see the flame through the glass here. We were so happy. But within one minute, suddenly everything stopped. The flame went out, the sound inside the tank stopped. So it was not the problem of a pressure switch. Then the technician asked me, did you clean the intake outside? I said, I said outside only one pipe. I cleaned everything over there. He told me that the tank has two pipe. You see there, the white pipe is the vent and then the black one is the intake pipe intake pipe is the to take the air inside and send the air to the heater to help the fuel gas to burn we need to get outside to check the intake so then we went out to check. We came here. This is outside of my hot water tank. This is the vent. So I told my technician, see, this is not blocked. I can take this out. See, I told him this is not blocked. And I cleaned the snow on top of here. 
But he told me no. It's not here. This is, he told me this is vent. Something inside here. So he told me inside here, you see my, my, my hand? Inside here, there is air intake inside here. So something must be blocked here. I never noticed there was something inside here. So I didn't know that. So he hit here and then tried to move this out, but it's glued. So he just pat and heavily pat it and clean something inside there. I just bang like this. And suddenly we saw the hot steam get out of here. And then he said, yeah, now it's working, it is working. Because the intake was blocked. That was so surprised to me. Because the intake is hidden inside here. And then I never paid attention, I didn't know this. So I didn't know it is blocked inside there. So now I took this lesson. Now I know I should come to check this one every cold weather. You know, those this week is it is very very cold. Minus 30 for one week, and then a lot of frost was blocked here. The intake pipe is blocked. Inside this pipe, it is like this. You see the diagram here? So it is designed in this way. So the vent is in the middle, and then the outside, this is double layer. This is intake, so the air getting go this way, and then suck into the outer layer. Here, same thing, get in the outer layer, and then get into inside of my house, which is the black one, if you remember, the black one, so getting down to the heater. So now, because the frost, due to the very cold weather, the frost keep uh, accumulated here and then blocked my intake here. So the intake blocked and the heater cannot uh, kick in. Of course, this one block and then pressure will have some problem. Pressure switch cannot detect good pressure. Then the signal says the pressure switch has some problem. Now this one clean. Pressure gets to normal and the pressure switch works. And then the heater works. So it sounds like my pressure switch maybe not work, uh, doesn't have any problem. I wasted my time and my money and my technician's time. So I hope this is going to be a good lesson for you guys. After we checked and cleaned the intake outside, we came back here. As expected, everything worked us fine. Worked us so good. Now it has been over one day. So far, so good. So the pressure switch maybe not not the problem. We have wasted a lot of time and some money. My advice to me and to you is the two points. Every time in the future when we see any problem for the water tank, we may do two steps. First one, to check intake and vent outside. And then second one, check the light and the error code. For the error code, we may be able to fix something by ourselves first. I recorded this story because I hope nobody will repeat my mistake. If you like this story, like my video, please subscribe. Please leave your comments down below. Thanks for watching. See you next time.